Good afternoon. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make a healthy protein pasta. So this pasta that I'm making is gluten-free and we're going to have protein without adding meat to this dish. So I use what's called pow pasta. It's red lentil pasta and it's in the little spirals. So it looks like this. We're going to put that in the dish. So you boil it just like normal pasta and it has really a, a decent texture that's just like pasta. So you won't feel like you're really missing out on the gluten noodles. And then I made in this pan, we have um, peppers, tomatoes, onions, some minced garlic, some jalapenos, um, just a bunch of different stuff mixed up. Um, and then it's, it's sauteed in avocado oil. So it's a nice little, little vegetable marinara type sauce. And you just put that all in there. I just browned it till it's nice and brown. And then typically what I do, but I don't have time to do, is I put the cheese on and I'll put this in my air fryer and bake it. Today I don't have a ton of time, so I'm just going to put it in the microwave just for a few seconds. So all I put on the top is I like Havarte cheese. Um, it's really stringy and gooey. Um, I only use the sliced stuff, so it's about 80 calories. So when you're done with this meal, it really only comes out to 498 calories, which is a really decent um, amount of calories for your meal, especially if you're looking for that 400, 600 calorie range for a nice balanced meal. And this meal has 27 grams of protein, and 69 carbs and 14 fat. Now remember, carbs are not bad for you. Make sure you're following your macros if you're following macros. If you're not following macros, this is actually a nice balanced meal. So I'm gonna show you what the end result looks like. And there is the pasta with some melted cheese on the top. So it's just the protein noodles, my own sauteed marinara mix, and then the cheese melted on top. And then um, for the for the vegetables, I also used sea salt on it. So you can use sea salt, um, whatever seasoning that you want to do on it, but the sea salt really brings out the flavor in those vegetables. So hopefully you enjoy.